Up next, we have Dr. Alistair Hood with Verda Ferro, the utility platform that, serve, that saves business costs and the planet. Okay. Uh, I need a, can you hear me okay? What about that? Is that better? Okay. That one? There you go. All right. All right. Thanks. I'm Alistair Hood with uh, Verda Ferrell. And um, we, we have developed a, a platform to really help commercial businesses uh, find the wasteful save, the waste within their utilities. Not just energy, but water, waste, propane with customers with wood pellets and heating oil. And really help them understand exactly where they're, where they're um, wasting money. And that is, it, we're talking about with green as in sustainable, but actually it's green as dollars. For the customer, everybody wants to be sustainable and look after the dollars, which looks after, for us, it looks after the, uh, the greenhouse gases. But really, we help them pull in all the information. If you think of mint.com for utilities, pull in all the information from all um, uh, areas, all the utilities water waste everywhere, put up, um, analyze it, normalize it, put it in their platform that you can, that the customer can make informed decisions. We've got, this is the, the home screen where you can log in. This is actually a demo of a real life customer. I've stopped it um, and named it ABC Inc. But you can see where they're up half a percent across all the resources year on year. They're up 5.7%, but they're down in gas, water, and waste. We can jump into electric here. So this is uh, some details where you can see for December 2012 against December 2011, some metrics, they're down 10.9%, which we can see here. But really, um, across the year, they're up 5.7%. The interesting one here is this spike in July. Actually, whenever we looked at it for the customer, what's interesting for this facility manager, now he can see all his properties all in one place. And if we select that July figure, or sorry, that June, whenever we actually looked at it, we saw that it was facility number seven. So this is the big spike that was causing that across all his properties. Now he can see all his properties all on one page for electric. <clears throat> whenever we looked into this, it was the headquarters and it was actually the HVAC system. And by noticing this, he was able to save almost $5,000 that, that month um, from, from this analysis. Now, what's also interesting, just from looking at this, this is facility number seven. It's an 80,000 square foot building compared to the rest of them, or bank branches, two or 3,000 square feet. What we can look at is actually the um, total area. So normalizing it to the square foot basis, the, the energy intensity. Whenever we do that, it was funny, it jumped out. It wasn't facility number seven anymore. It's facility number two. And it was a small branch in Campbell that they were able to look at, and all it was was a time clock on the wall was broken, that was just running HVAC 24-7. But he didn't, he didn't notice this on his 40 pages worth of pg and &E bills. So now he was able to spot this, the same as five and six, and uh, do fixes on it, and save several thousand dollars just from this across the year. So we're able to, able to pull this all in, and, and I say we're able, we can look at it on electric, natural gas, water, waste, cost, or, or usage as well. On the waste one here, we can see a diversion rate of 51.4%. In other words, they've, they've diverted 51.4% away from the landfill. Um, and that helps them save money. As you can see, some of our customers, like property management companies in San Francisco, their biggest expenses in energy is trash. And if they can divert a lot of the trash um, to uh, recycling and compost, it helps them save money. So that's why we, we don't just focus on energy. And there's a lot of relationships between all the utilities. That's, that's critical. So, really, we could, we could go on and show lots more, but that's that's essentially it. It's, it's pulling it all in um, for all the utilities. As I say, for customers who have um, wood pellets and heating oil, as well as transportation fuels and things like that, not just not just pure energy. So, any questions? Yeah, how much of this is software and how much of this is professional? It's 100% software. We don't do any professional services on this side of the business. We don't do any hardware. This is billing analysis. This is analytics on the bills themselves. 
um, rolling in normalization of weather, we can lay on top occupancy for hotels, things like that, burgers flipped at a burger joint, think whatever um, has a relationship to that particular utility, we lay it on top. So the, at the end of the day, the commercial business owner can make a, an informed decision, not just looking at his PG&E bill or his water bill. So how do you acquire the data? We acquire the data, so we we work with the customer. So if the, the customer gets their bills, we can scrape their bills and pull the bills down. If we can hook up to the utility automatically, we do. And most of the, the uh, electrical and, and gas companies, we can. Some of the water companies, the trash companies are usually bills, which we scrape the bills and, and drop it in as, as easy as possible. Uh, this one. Do, you, do you need HANA for this? Big data software. We we don't we don't use, we don't use HANA. In fact, what we use uh, IBM. Well, IBM is one of our, our technical partners, and we use some of their some of their um, analytics. We have a lot for more analytics uh, on the roadmap to be able to do a lot more in-depth analysis because as our customer base grows and our database grows, there's massive amounts of analytics and opportunities that we can we can work with. So something like HANA or IBM themselves. Many years ago, uh, I saw a service like this for uh, phone bills, phone communication. That's right. Yeah. Can, can you uh, import or export your model to other? Absolutely, absolutely. It's it's exactly that. It's it's big data cost spend management essentially as well. So yeah, there, a lot of companies do it for uh, mobile phone bills for Fortune 500 companies. And it's the same kind of kind of top down analysis, portfolio analysis down to the meter level. So how much of the domain knowledge do people have to have in this utility industry to get your... Right. Quite a lot. So going back to the, the, the first question, we started as a consulting business, uh, doing a lot of this for businesses. We're approved by the city of San Francisco, and we're an energy, the Department of Energy, so our partner and stuff. So that's where we get, got the knowledge, and our customers were saying, this is great. You've, you saved us lots of time and money, but what am I going to do whenever you disappear? I'm back to using spreadsheets and trying to understand the bills and the different number of days in the bill and so on and so forth. So, yeah. <coughs> yeah. So, do you make money at the flat fee or are you getting a cut of all the savings you're offering? No, we, we make, we make, there's a couple of different subscription models. We have a couple of script subscription models for the end user on a per meter basis um, as we as we add it up. But also, we have, we have uh, uh, channel models as well that we make money from. So, third party service providers that do a lot of work with customers. We go through the channel and sell through them as well. So, how do you keep your customer interested after six, twelve, eighteen months? Yeah, so that's that's a good point. So, yeah, they could they could use it for a few months and find the savings and all. But really, like businesses, costs aren't static; they're always moving. And it's a, it's an insurance policy, or if there's a problem, as with other customers we've seen, they've used it for a year or so, and then up popped a fifteen thousand dollar problem that they're able to claim back money from the, the utility. So everything's always dynamic. So it's it's, a, it's an ongoing problem. Hey, Brad. Hey, do, you, uh, do you pay the customer? Do you actually have a way to let them know that something's out of Oh, absolutely, yeah. So we have, can you make suggestions to them for things that you can we, we can. We can, but really the, the main thing is the alerts. They know their properties and their businesses better than we do, essentially, because you know they, we, have, we have customers all across the U.S. with a big real estate investment trust that have hotels spread across the U.S. with customers in Europe as well. So we don't know their, their buildings, but we can make some assumptions. Um, but we do have an alerts um, section where they can set uh, um, limits, and if it goes over that, it will alert them to say there's a, there could be a problem with this particular meter. So, yeah. Sorry. Um, who are your top uh, competitors, and how do you see differentiating your business from them? Yeah, so there's a lot of, um, as you probably know, in San Francisco, you can't throw a stone without hitting an energy efficiency startup. And there are, there's a, a lot of people sort of compare to that, but we're not. We're, 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 we're not necessarily looking at the 15 minute data. We can, but, but there's massive amounts of analytics and insight you can get just from the, 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 the monthly billing data. So, that, and, and all the relationships that go along with water and energy, the water energy nexus, as they talk about, you know. So, by looking at all the utilities together com, in combination, there's a lot of insight. So, you know, C3 are out there just up the road here uh, with Tom Siebel with billion or billions of dollars, hundreds of millions trying to do this. And he, he, he said himself, it's difficult. It's not It's not easy. IBM have something, or, um, Oracle, and the big guys have something, but they're going after the Coca-Colas of the world. There's nobody helping the, <clears throat> the, the uh, you know, TGI, TGI Fridays or banks and credit unions and things like that. 
that have multiple properties. Gas stations, take that as an example. Health clubs, hotels, and that's where we play. Yeah? What are your thoughts on the companies that leave their lights on? <laughs> There's a lot of money to be saved there. And in fact, where, where this plays in, you know, going green, people think, oh, going green, you need to have a lot of money to have a, a Tesla, which you, you do. But in, in business, going green is a sure fit, uh, way to make money because there's so many multiples. We did a project for a, a hotel and we found um, upwards of about six, helped them find about $600,000 worth of savings in the hotel through lots of different energy efficiency. That multiplied up as a capitalization rate is about eight and a half million dollars to the value, added to the value of that asset, that hotel. So for real estate investment trust, it's perfect. If they can find savings multiplied up as well as the business itself, it increases the, the, the value of that capital asset that they can sell on. So things like if you're a business owner and the property is your business, it's it's a it's a perfect platform because there's all this leverage and all these multiples you can add on to. Awesome. Well thank you so much. We'll take uh, one more question. So are you are you planning to do a fine grain with the uh Connected devices, connected lamps, and, and potentially we can we can do that. The the architecture is built that we can take that kind of data if need be. That's um, more data. It's it's a lot more data. Exactly, it's a lot more data, and there's a, it's a lot more granularity, and you can get down to that level. But you're always going to need somebody with a intimate knowledge of the building with a flashlight and a screwdriver to confirm if that's the problem. But yeah. Are you equipped to get all this data and treat all this data? We, we have the, the architecture built to do that. Okay. Now, connecting to it is a different thing because <laughs> there's so many different protocols out there at the moment. Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you.